it's not really known how much data collection and intelligence is acquired on any individual in the Church of Scientology. Every single confessional session is recorded. Every word you ever said is on videotape, so to speak. There are two cameras, hidden cameras, in every counseling room recording every word you say. Now, what is not known is that this is then collected in your ethics file summary. So if you've done something disreputable, if you've cheated a little or done something against the mores of the group, this is collected in a file to be used against you. There was an ethics officer. <laughs> this, is a, this is a person designated to handle people's ethics. It's unbelievable. This is a criminal organization and it's fixated on ethics while it clobbers and batters and <laughs> beats up everyone in his wake. And they pretend they've got this noble ethics. They have a whole division. But ethics has come to mean a negative word in the church. Ethics means your ethics are almost an ethics mate. You're, you're a person full of crime. You're an ethics particle. If you're an ethics, people say, oh, he's an ethics. That means he is shady. He's got other fish to fry right now. He's doing things that are discreditable. This ethics officer told me of how there was a certain person at flag who was messing up. And the Religious Technology Center got really pissed off about it. So they made the ethics officer study all his files, all his folders, to look for dirt. The poor guy, he was going in a downward spiral. The ethics officers found out that when he was 12 years old, he sniffed his aunt's underwear. Uh, now RTC had dirt on him. And they used it. No wonder your statistics aren't up. No wonder you're not producing. You're a perv that likes to smell underwear. He was now 45 years old. And he was being reminded from his confessional folder that he sniffed his aunt's underwear that he was a perverted human being. That is the Religious Technology Center. Do you understand how the, the, the actual impact of the betrayal? You give them something in a session, and this is going to be used as ammunition against you later to humiliate you, to bring you down. And you know what's mind-boggling? All of this occurs while Sea Org members believe they are saving the world. Daily abuse, things not adding up, but they're saving the world and they believe this. They're clearing the planet. You take a car in Los Angeles, you just go down the boulevard. There's not one home there <laughs> that has anything to do with Scientology. You can drive miles and miles and miles around. And this is supposed to be the, the most intense place of Scientologists. They've got people swallowing the lie that they're actually taking over the planet and are saving the planet. You know, it, the church took, went down a dark pathway. And that is when it became punitive 
and vengeful. It didn't have grace and mercy and a benign quality to forgive. It was going to hold something you said against you. And its entire modality is to punish. Not to discuss it and work it out and mediate and meet halfway and do win-win. The entire pathway of the church, and I believe this is the one true reason, if the church did not punish so much, there wouldn't be message boards, there wouldn't be blogs, there would hardly be, there would be nothing to talk about. If the church itself was not doing draconian, obnoxious, hideous things, it would, it, there would be no discussion. There would be no YouTube videos. So to summarize, when you sit in the auditing chair, what you say is written down, but you are also on <laughs> in visual recording every word you say is recorded. Because the church engages in fair game, which means it's okay to lie to you, cheat, steal from you, deceive you and destroy you, that which you've confessed to previously, anything you say in a session can and will be used against you. Just like the Miranda rights, a policeman says in handcuffs, anything you say can be used in a court of law. I want to say to you watching this show, anything you confess to the Church of Scientology, as explained, they flip it into not auditing you, sec check. So don't think you're protected because you said it in a session because now they say, you know what, we want to check those things in a confessional. I'm not auditing you. This is the session. That which you say can and will be used against you if you come out against the church or so blowing. However, they seem to have drawn in their venom and their hissing and their claws of late. In the last several weeks, I have not been fair gamed at all. But, any fair game will be put on YouTube within that very same day. I want the world to see the darker side of the Church of Scientology.